adding speech bubbles to your writing. Today, we're going to be thinking about speech bubbles in our writing. And we're gonna use some of our drawings of our favorite Mo Willems characters to practice using speech bubbles. Now a speech bubble starts with kind of a triangle or part of an arrow pointing to the character's mouth. That's going to show us that it is this character saying the words we put inside the speech bubble. Then we want to draw our speech bubble. I like to make speech bubbles a little bit bigger so that my words can fit inside the speech bubble. And I'm going to think about what I might have the pigeon say. Oh, you know what? I think the pigeon really likes to eat different types of foods. I know he likes cookies. I know he likes hot dogs. I bet the pigeon likes ice cream. So I think I'm gonna have the pigeon asking for an ice cream cone. So let's see, I'm gonna write in here, can Can I have ice cream? And that's a question, so I'm going to put an exclamation point. And then the pigeon really likes to say, please. So I'm going to write please down here. It's very polite of the pigeon. Please. And to show that he really wants some ice cream, I'm going to give two exclamation marks. So using... My speech bubble, we can see that the pigeon is the one talking and I made it big enough so I could fit lots of words inside. Now, let's think about some more of my Mo Willems drawings. Oh, here's one of Piggy. And another type of speech bubble is where the character is thinking something in their brain and you can see what they're thinking about. They're not saying the words. And you want to do that kind of speech bubble. You're gonna draw little circles coming up from the character's head. And then you're gonna draw what looks like a cloud. Kind of fluffy and big. Once again, I'm gonna make my speech bubble pretty big so I can fit what I want to put in there. And I think Piggy is going to be thinking about playing ball or catch with her really good friend, Gerald. So I think I'm not even going to write words. I'm going to draw a picture of kind of a beach ball that maybe Piggy and Gerald might play with. So there is a ball. And I could add some detail. I could color in some of these parts. Always good to add detail to your pictures. And then I want to continue on the story. So I want to show Piggy thinking about playing ball. Then I can have my other drawing and use some speech bubbles here. So I might do one here. Make my big bubble so I can fit words in there with the little triangle going towards Piggy. That way I know Piggy's saying the words. And Piggy's going to say, will you play ball with 
me. And then that's a question, so we need to put our question mark in there. Then, what could Gerald say? Oh, Gerald probably for sure would want to play with his best friend, Piggy. So we're going to put a speech bubble here. Little triangle towards Gerald, so we know Gerald's talking. And then enough space so that we're able to write our words. And Gerald's going to say, yes. And Gerald's really excited about playing ball. So we're gonna put an exclamation mark. Yes. That. Would. Be. Fun. And I'm gonna write fun in all uppercase letters because Gerald is really excited about playing ball. And I'm gonna put an exclamation mark. So there's Piggy saying, will you play ball with me? And then Gerald says, yes, that would be fun. And then, you know what might be nice to add to this picture? Because they're talking about it, we could add a ball for them to play with. And it had some green on it. And it had some red on it too. And there I'll color it in to look like it. And there I'm really working on my story. And I could even add to this story and think about what happens next and write a whole nother page with more speech bubbles or thought bubbles. Maybe even another friend comes along to play with them. Share your stories with friends and families. Like and subscribe for more fun videos.